created a great meal for you today. I have two different types of fish. It's the Sicilian sea bass and I have halibut. Now trust me, if you don't want to spend $25 a pound or $27 a pound on the sea bass, it's okay. Use the fish of your choice. If you don't want to spend $17 a pound on the halibut, it's okay. Use the fish of your choice. But I, I think that you should use a very thick cut of fish. Swordfish, halibut, sea bass, mahi-mahi. Uh, those fishes are nice, thick, and flaky fish. So you'll get a great response from this dish that we're going to prepare today. And I'm also going to talk about a little of my heritage since I'm talking about my brother. Um, my great-grandfather. His name was C.J. Huddleston. And if you look him up in the encyclopedia, he was the first black man to found a, the first black hospital in Mississippi. How about that, right? And then you look at my grandmother, Miss Hattie Robinson, in Louisiana. C.J. was in Mississippi. Hattie Robinson was in Louisiana. She fostered more grandchildren, I mean, more foster kids than anybody in the state of Louisiana. And she was amazing. So when you talk about a serving attitude, it's in my blood, guys. I can't help it. So let's get started. So the first thing we need, you're going to need your spinach. You're going to need your peanut on the wall. You're going to need lemon, onions, mayo, Parmesan cheese, roasted garlic, regular to chopped garlic, lemon, um, um, onions, and salt and pepper, and, of course, your fish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our roasted garlic. And in doing our roasted garlic, it's going to give us the crust on our fish. So one of the things that you're going to do, what you're going to need with your roasted garlic, is you're going to need some aluminum foil. You're going to need to set your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to need a whole clove of garlic, right? You're going to need a whole clove of garlic. And you're going to peel the garlic. You know, you're going to hit it, knock it just a little bit, right? Just to break the skin off of it. And you're going to put it inside the foil. Really simple, nice and easy. Break your garlic up, peel it, and put it inside the foil. And what we're going to do is we're going to roast it at 350 degrees. So you're going to need about six to seven cloves of garlic, okay? And you're going to put a little olive oil there. And put just a little olive oil there, and then you're going to put your garlic in there, and you're going to roast it. And you're going to fold it up, six to seven cloves. You're going to fold it up, and you're going to put it in your oven at 350 degrees, okay? That's the first thing you're going to do. So once you do that, and your garlic has gotten nice, and you'll smell it in the house, how it's roasted, you're going to take your mayo, and you're going to mix your mayo in a bowl. You need one-fourth cup of mayo, right? And again... Everything is in moderation, and if you understand, well, you'll understand after everything is ready how it's going to come together. So then you have your roasted garlic, and then you have a quarter cup. You have six cloves of roasted garlic, and then you have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, you can put this in a blender, or you can take this and mash it with a spoon, right? doesn't matter to me. A spoon is going to give you the same effect. So you got your roasted garlic. So let's talk a little bit about the diabetes aspect, right? A lot of you guys, you want to watch your salt intake. You want to watch your carbs. And you guys already know that, right? So, and you really, really want to watch your carbs. And all the research that I've done today, it talks about how a lot of us are walking around with diabetes and don't even know it because we refuse to even go to the hospital. So guys, especially my brothers out there. We got to get a yearly checkup. We got to do it every year. That's going to solve a lot of our problems. We don't want to go to the hospital. We don't
don't want to go to the doctor, but we have to go. That's just the bottom line. Once a year, at least. Once a year. So now we got everything all mixed up, right? So we're going to sit this to the side. And then we're going to get ready to start to prepare our fish. So, in preparing our fish, how do we select it? That's going to be the key, right? A lot of people don't like to venture out in different types of fish because they don't like fishy fish or they don't like dark fish or they don't like catfish because it's a bottom feeder and catfish is not good for you. All fish have antioxidants and they're very good for you. It's healthy for you, especially if you're diabetic. We suggest that you eat more fish than you eat anything else, right? So we have a piece of halibut here. Portion size is important. This is a six ounce piece of halibut. Now, if you take a look at this halibut, you got just a little darkness on it because I had to cut the skin off of it for you, if you can see that, right? So it's a nice, thick-cut fish. Then you have your sea bass. Wow. Sea bass is amazing. It's nice. It's a thick cut of fish. It's flaky. You don't have, it's very, very clean type of fish, right? And then I have another small piece of sea bass for you. So... What we're going to do, all we're going to simply do is we're going to use a little salt and pepper. Nothing else. This type of fish, you don't need a whole bunch of Tony Saturies. You don't need anything like that. Just a little salt and pepper because we don't want to take away from the flavor of the fish. Even of the halibut, right? We don't want to take away from the flavor of it. Just a little salt and pepper. We're going to put it down. Now, we're going to get our skillet nice and hot. Right? We're going to use just a little olive oil. Now, depending on what you've had for dinner or what you've had for breakfast, right, you might be able to use your little teaspoon of butter. Right? Again, it's not going to hurt you as long as you go, as long as you use it in moderation. Right? This is a very simple dish, uh, a very expensive dish, but it's very good. Okay? So we got our skillet going. And we want to make sure we got it nice and hot. We got our, 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 uh, our garlic and our parmesan and our mayos working there, right? Now over here, I have a skillet that's getting just a little hot um, so that we can start our spinach in just a minute. So I'm going to take a commercial break because there's been some awesome things that's been going on with, with Puvain's Culinary Creations for this week. We just launched... Our new Cuvée's Creation Honey Lime Salad Dressing. You can get it. Last week, we introduced it, and I set a goal of selling 100. And we sold all 100 bottles. This week, we're going to set a goal of another 100 bottles. And every week until it gets on the shelf in the store, HEB is going into your store. So you might as well put, put some room on your shelves because it's coming. Right. So prepare yourselves for it. So if you need the salad dressing, go to CuvaysCulinaryCreations.com. Go to the contact page. Put your name, your complete address, your email address, and your phone number. Make sure you put salad dressing and how many salad dressings you want for the event, and we'll get it shipped out to you. Yesterday, we shipped out 100 bottles, and we we're so excited. We we're so happy. So make sure you get that. Okay, so we got our skillet nice and hot. This is a very delicate fish. So we're going to sear it on one side. Presentation side down. Okay, Soraya. Go ahead and pull that fish for me. So you got your presentation side down on your fish. And your fish is searing, so you just want to get a little color from it, right? No, this is the, this is the garlic. Okay, so remember, this fish is delicate, guys. It'll break apart on you in a heartbeat. So you want to be careful, and it doesn't take long to cook. Okay? So we're going to take our sea bass 
and we're going to turn it over. You see that? We got our halibut. We're going to turn it over. We got our other four ounce, six ounce halibut. We're going to turn it over. Now all we're going to simply do is we're going to put it in the oven, 350 degrees, right? and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, here's the secret. With the halibut and with the sea bass, if you don't cook it long enough, it's going to be tough. And we do not want a tough fish, okay? So Soraya's gonna take this, and she's gonna stick that in the oven for me. She's gonna stick that in the oven for me. So we have the fish, that is finished, right? So what we're going to do with this fish is we're going to take our mixture and we're going to coat it. And this is going to create our crust. Very easy, very simple dish, diabetic friendly, right? So remember, this is only a quarter cup of everything, right? So I got about four or five pieces here because I'm going to feed my team, my team today. I want to thank you guys for, again for making this uh, this show possible. My granddaughter Soraya, uh, my wife Mary, my two best friends Craig, and our new cameraman Tyler. This guy is amazing. He's 16 years old. So I have these young kids working because, hey, they know the technology, right? So we have our fish covered. Now we're going to take this, and in about five minutes, we're going to put it inside the broiler, and it's going to broil a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to take our spinach. We're going to do a Pinot Grigio spinach. We're going to add... A little olive oil, right? We're gonna let the skillet get hot. We're gonna add our onions. Now, you guys can dice the onions or you can julienne the onions. I don't really care. I prefer my onions diced instead of julienne. I mean julienne instead of diced. But if you wanna dice your onions, you can dice your onions. That's a total preference up to you. I, I, I don't really care. So we got this nice and hot because it was being warm there. We're gonna drop our onions. We got a little sizzle going on. And it's important that we have that sizzle. And it's important that we have this skillet hot. Because we want to extract all the flavor from these onions. Right? So we want our onions to cook to they're translucent. Right? So Ben, make sure you guys call Ben at uh, Insurance Corner, 844-631-1119. So here it is, guys. The first person... That, sends it, that goes to Cuvée's Culinary Creations.com and order one bottle of salad dressing, you'll get two. So place your order right now. We're going to hit 100 this week. Trust me. I used to be a salesperson. I'm going to do it. Those numbers are going to be phenomenal. We're going to make sure that this salad dressing is really on point that you guys can get it. If you guys go to Cuvée's Culinary Creations, you will see some of the testimonials from a young man by the name of Alvin. I met him in the grocery store. And I sold him some salad dressing. And this guy put a testimonial out on the salad dressing that almost brought tears to my eyes. So, now we got our onion sautéing, correct? Now you're going to take a quarter cup of your Pinot Grigio. And you're going to add it. You're going to burn all the liquor off of it. Right? And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your spinach. This is going to be an amazing dish, I'm telling you right now. And it's quick. So, Vicki, when you're preparing this for Marcus, because I know you're going to do it, when you're preparing this for him, you notice how much time you need. You don't need very much time at all. So, right, go ahead and put this in the broiler for me. So with our spinach, 
We're gonna see up the top, you can take take that one out. The one at the top, you can take it out. Put it in the top of it. And the broiler went off. So put that on broil at 450 on broil. In the top, put it on the top rack. So on the board, put it on the no. There you go. Okay, so we have our spinach, right? So the secret to spinach is gonna be the Pinot Grigio. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper to it, right? And we're gonna sit this to the side because our spinach is just about ready. So right before you serve your spinach, what are we gonna do? We're gonna hit it with just a little lemon juice. So we're gonna let it cook just a little more, but we don't wanna cook all the vitamins off of it. Some of you guys have cooked the spinach until it's almost dark and just wilted all the way down. And we don't wanna do that, right? So our oven is on broil. We're getting the color for that. So, so listen, let's talk about the salad dressing again because it's amazing, it's delicious. We've been working on this salad dressing for about five to seven years and it's finally come into existence. Um, and I wasn't supposed to mention it last week, but I just couldn't hold it. I mean, guys, when you have something that you've been working on and you've been developing, you have to have it. It's only 100 calories, two tablespoons is enough. It's very little fat, trans fat. It's all natural. There's no preservatives and no additives in it. And we're going to cook something with the salad dressing next week. Again, it's going to be a diabetic-friendly dish. It's going to be a pecan-crusted chicken, and, um, and we're going to use the salad dressing with it. Is there any questions thus far? No. Okay. So, open, that, open the oven for me, Sarah. Let me pick, take a look at it. So, guys, you know, one of the things that, yes, a little bit more. Put it at the top rack. Put it on the top rack. So, one of the things that, we all want to be careful of it. That's including myself with diabetes. You want to make sure you exercise, you make sure you eat right, cut your sodium content, and, uh, and make sure you watch your carbohydrates, right? All sugar is not good sugar. So we want to make sure that we watch that. And with our honey lime vinaigrette, it's all a natural sugar. So we're getting ready to plate our spinach. Our spinach has a lot of onions and garlic, salt and pepper. And right before we plate it, right before we plate it, we're going to hit it with a little lemon juice. That lemon juice is going to give us the flavor that we need. Okay, pull the fist around. And again, these green vegetables, guys, you know, you can pretty much eat as many of these vegetables as you want. So we're going to clean our plate up a little bit. And again, this is a very quick meal. Something fast and easy. <clears throat> we're going to take our halibut. We're going to sit it right on top of our bed of fish, I mean our bed of shrimp, I mean our spinach. <clears throat> We're going to take a fresh lemon. We're going to cut it into a slice. And we're going to garnish it with the lemon twist. There you have it. Look at that. Can we get a good shot of that, Kyla? Mm -hmm. No, just call me Tyler. Kayla. Tyler. <laughs> How about that? Okay, guys. So listen. Quick, easy, finished, done, healthy dish, diabetic friendly. You can't go wrong. So let's go back to the salad dressing. CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com. Fill out the contact page. Do we have our first buyer yet? No. No. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's coming. 
Cuvée's Culinary Creations Honey Lime Vinaigrette. It's on the, on, on the market now. You can get it from our website. We're handling all the sales right now. This product is destined to go into the stores. Please give us your support. We shipped out 100 bottles this week throughout the country. We went to Michigan. We went to Mississippi. We're in Los Angeles. Had a young lady from Long Beach today that called and ordered two bottles here in Houston. So make sure you get your bottle. Next week, we're going to talk about, we're going to utilize this salad dressing, and we're going to do a pecan-crusted chicken salad, and you guys are going to love it. Make sure you stay safe, guys. You know, COVID, we want to stay safe. Diabetic-friendly meals, we want to eat healthy. We want to make sure we get some walking in, that we get some exercises in, so that we can stay healthy and safe throughout this period in time. I thank you guys today. This meal is going to be delicious. As a matter of fact, Rob, you don't have to call him twice. Is he here? Yes. Mr. Boyd. So thank you guys. We enjoy you guys. Thank you again. This is a very quick show because, again, we're concentrating on the sales. We got insurance corner, auto insurance, property insurance, health insurance, business insurance, floods, bonds, call being at 844-631-1119. If you're interested in sponsoring our show, make sure you go to cuvetsculinarycreations.com and go to the contact page and say, I'd like to be a sponsor. And we'll make sure we give you a call. Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, we have been doing such a great job with our shows. Saturday morning, I'm sorry, at 1 o'clock, I'm doing a kid's show. We're teaching kids how to make our signature holy moly dessert, and it's going to be amazing. One of my grandkids is going to be doing the class with me, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be interactive, so tune in. Go to CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com, and if you want to put your kid in a food camp this year, again, go to CuvetsCulinaryCreations.com, fill out the contact page, and say that you're interested in the kids' cooking camp, and we'll make sure we get back to you and get you all the information. Thank you, guys. Stay safe, eat healthy, and be diabetic-friendly.